Oh, hey! You're back! I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud, thoughts? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for dates. I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. I would, but it's a gift. He's had to work so hard since we're on our own. I wanted to do something nice for him. Of course. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Sorta of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house. are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. Cute and soft, too. Perfect for a flower crown. A few more couldn't hurt. Smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go give him to Chloe.
Breaking news at this hour. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a lickin', but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He's stolen! Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. You're so tough, it can't be. Don't you think I would if I could? God! I'm a shit player, don't you get that? Whatever you say. Hardcore players are willing to throw down hell a gill for rare cards. Please, I'm begging you, you gotta get it back before that asshole tries to sell it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around?
Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil no prob. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks.
Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again some. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy.
You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A-game. This isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So. This guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night, with bells on. Promise. <laughs> Starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix the. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgar's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tanks got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. It makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was fun. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. You will? Capital! Oh, 
I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Everyone, please! One at a time! Mercy Red, but I think you're... Someone say Merc? I know you. You're that Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. W is that Cloud? <sighs> but I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is, uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for them together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you. I swear I'll do anything. Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so these are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there's the bare minimum. So, any questions? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Sweet! See you soon! I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for screws and bolts. Nothing to it. Way to go, guys! When we're finished, that pipe will be good as new! I bet we could 
even charge extra? <laughs> now then, follow me, would you? Let's not keep my money, I mean, the pie, waiting. Grandma didn't send you out here to find me, did she? Because if she did, I'm not going back. I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid, never letting me join her on a job. So I packed up and hit the road. Now I'm out here making my fortune. I can't wait to rub my success in her smug face. Fella Merc, defend me! Time to take out the trap! <laughs> from the Merc herself. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is flowing again. We're in your debt. Where's your Merc now? I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I paid. For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. <sighs> Sounds like you still got competition, Merc. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. Insisted that her fellow mercs be compensated.
it's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help. Try, I won't stop you. He's got something. Wah. <laughs> well, I still have a faint impression of the scent. Together, we can find the beast. Do you want to track it from here on out? No, the Chocobo has led us this far after all. There was a struggle here not long ago. can help guide the bird, ensure it doesn't stray.
What? It's my sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. That bastard pay? Let's go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't ya? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Broden's not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. <sighs> Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. 
So, what do you want to know? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. Now that is a quality design! No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic Ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works.
She gets off work at seven. That's so. <laughs> if Mildred's happy, I'm happy. She said you've got a world to see. <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel. But I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. It's time. Time to go. To leave. You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right? You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. so strong, too. As you know, we here at Beck's Business make a living by slaying fiends and keeping folks safe. If you were to join us, what sort of skills would you bring to the table? Oh, yeah! I can vouch for him on that one, Mr. President! Mm. This guy will mash monsters in seconds flat! Yeah, just like he did to us! Shit. Let me just confer with my associates. Hey, when we up? can get this shrub, we'll do all the heavy lifting for us. Our monster troubles are over, boys. After thorough deliberation, our council has decided to approve your candidacy. Congratulations! Congratulations! You candidate! We've been holding out hope for a qualified applicant, and your accomplishments speak for themselves, Mr. Strife. Indeed, I think you have the potential to become a mentor to your new colleagues. Welcome to the BB family. I'm your superior, and you're my superior. <laughs> We've got some big expectations for you, rookie. Okay. Now that the formalities are out of the way, it's time for your first assignment. There's an old highway on the outskirts of town. Go on ahead and prep the battle while you're at it. We've got some, uh, paperwork. You ain't serious about this, are you? Ain't I always serious?
behalf of Beck's business, let's get to work. Hey, newbie! How's it looking over there? You done with our work? We ain't done shit! God damn it, was hoping they'd be dead. Go on, get him, Hey, it's harder, damn it!
we get knocked down, we don't cut and run. We play dead and live to fight another day. Business? More like bullshit? Now you're just falling in line. You ain't outlaws. You're in-laws. Boss? I don't want to be in-laws. Huh. Well, ain't that some shit? One taste of civil society, and I almost lost my edge. Listen up, boys. Effective today, Bex business is closed. And in its place, I'll be forming Bex Bikers, a band of outlaws born to rule the open road. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Yeah, no. Ready, boys? Then let's burn rubber. You got it, boss. Sorry, rookie. You're fired. But hey, lots of bumps like that with the ride of life. Gotta hang on tight. One hell of a life, that man. Gotta admit, kinda jealous. Psych. <laughs>